we're just gonna all right here we go we're here fancy best out on got the music playing as always as we should all right here we go come on let's turn on a little bit music i like the music i like the music anyways hey guys uh, welcome to the taste test segment. Triple D Foods, that's the name of it, by the way. Where's Wario? Wario is nowhere to be seen. He's not allowed in. He's not allowed. <laughs> no distractions this time. No distractions. Um, yeah, this is the name I actually called it. Triple D Foods. Uh, that's the title I've given it, which is on YouTube now. You can actually see my first taste test of the Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew. So that's what I'm that's what I'm calling it now. Uh as always, we have uh we have of course uh you know that we got we got we got me, we got Felix over here. Hey, maybe maybe um maybe I'll start putting uh some other familiar faces in here in, in the future when I don't forget about it. When I don't forget to do that. Man, this music looping kinda sucks. <laughs> It kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah, of course. This one's a lot better. Okay, this is this one's better. That's great. Did I miss it? No, you're actually just in time. Hey, Rico, how you doing? Anyways, uh, let me close Discord. I don't need it. Anyways, uh, this is uh, this is the taste test segment. Triple D Foods today. We are trying a new Mountain Dew called Purple Thunder. That's the name of it. Let me get let me get an image of it for you guys. I know I probably should have an image an image ready, uh, but I don't. Uh, yeah. You know me, never being prepared. You, you know, you know how how uh, how I am. This is uh, this is purple thunder. It is a very plum flavored Mountain Dew. It is exclusive to Circle K, so if you got a Circle K near you, you know, stop by, get a get a, get a, get one. They have it in bottles, and they have it at the, the they have a fountain drink of uh, a version of it. I went with the bottle version because you know. I got this like the other night, so um, you know I I didn't want to just have a fountain drink sitting in my fridge and the ice go bad, the, you know the ice melts, so I went and got the bottle. Also, apparently they had like no large uh, they had no large cups; they only had medium and smalls. I don't know why, but they just didn't. So, anyways, I think I hear the chef coming through the back. He's you know. Everybody give it up for the chef. You've seen him last time, and here he comes. Everyone give a everyone give a big hand to the to the funny little chef. There he is. It's the little funny chef. Yeah, the chef. There he is. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Aw, oh, thank you, chef. Thank you so much. So nice of you. So nice of you, chef. I'll just pop, prop this drink up. There it is. There it is. There it is. There. Thank you, chef. Everyone everyone, say goodbye to Mr. Chef. We should have a name for him. If, you, if anyone has, like, name suggestions, you know, let me know. Going back, he's going back, he's, he's going through the back now. <laughs> yay, chef! Yay, yay! <laughs> Anyways, here it is, guys. Purple Thunder. This is the first time I'm going to try it. And as always, in case the drink goes bad, in case it's not something I like, we have the antidote. This time, not Pepsi, it's Frostbite Mountain Dew. I'm not gonna do a taste test of these flavors because you know I've already drank it before. 
you know, what am I gonna say? Oh, I like Frostbite. Anyways, let me drink it. Okay, hey, it's good, because I've already drank it. <laughs> so, you know, if there's flavors I've had before, probably will never do a taste test of them. So, you know. <laughs> Hey, that's a good emo. That's a good emo. That's a good, that's a good one. Cool. Anyways, it's time. I know you guys like to hear the fizz. I know you like guys like to hear me open it. So here we go. I know you guys like hearing that. All right. As always, we shall take the first sniff, like one does when they sniff their wine, their fine wine, before they consume it with their baguette and their jeans or wine. Right, let's take a let's take a sniff. Ooh, I like it. Mm -hmm. The smell of the grape is strong and I know some people may not like that but me he like you a lot me like that smell it it sort of reminds me of like bubble gum the smell like um like those bubble tape gums you know I'm talking talking about the one that the ones that come in the roll it sort of reminds me of that it, it, it's got like a, it's got like that candy taste you know what you know actually it reminds me more of nerds. Nerds. It reminds me more of like the, the nerds rope, the nerds gummy cluster. So it's that smell. Yeah. Very, very candy smell to it, which I like a lot. But smells good. But what about the taste? So here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that definitely tastes great. Um, it's, I would say the taste of the grape, not too strong, but I like it. You can, you know, try the plum, you know, but it's, it's, I like it a lot. I like this. I would say better than major melon Mountain Dew. That's for sure. I like this. I like it a lot. Very good. I don't care too much for grape sodas to begin with. But um, this is really nice. I like this a lot. Probably one of the few grape uh, sodas I I probably like. So you know, I don't care for Crush. I don't care for for you know for uh, Fanta. You know, I never cared for grape sodas. But of course, as always, when Mountain Dew, you know, dips their toes into the, like various flavors and they try it. As always, it goes great. Now, now, here's the thing. I've never really had plum before, but if this is what plum tastes like, I like it. Yeah, so, uh, uh, let it, you know, it would be, it would be me to you know, the first experience with Plum being in a Mountain Dew, you know, <laughs> that would be, that would be me. But yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, definitely a lot better than the Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew, which I still have a ton of in my fridge in the 12 pack. I've been drinking it slowly because, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen, um, I don't know if you guys have been keeping abs with uh you know what let me just show you do, 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 do. i'll go and show you i'll go and show you okay i got a picture of it um Well, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, uh, here, here, here. I, know, I know, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I do this. 
Maybe it'll work like... Huh? No. No, that didn't work. But don't worry, we're gonna... Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna... Now I'm putting it up. Now I'm putting it up. Okay, here we go. Here, here, here. Pitch. Source. Uh, add new source. Yeah. Yes. Be on the desktop. Desktop. Here it is. So, you know, I sort of... I take a while to drink the flaming Hot because I have all these in my closet. You know, you know, better flavors. So, uh, you know, can't really see it, but on the on the far right, there is like four other cases. Actually, there's three. Yeah, no, no, there's four. There's like three, and there's like a there's like a 15 pack of regular dew. You can't really see it because the door frame, but there's like there's like a fourth row right here. I went to Kroger. And they have like a three for 13. And a lot of these flavors, I can't find anywhere. Walmart didn't have it. Uh, Market Basket didn't have it. Uh, uh, Dollar General didn't have it. So I, you know, and Kroger is like on the other side of the other side of uh, where I live. Like on the other side of town or the city. So it's like a 30, 40 minute drive sometimes. So... I made sure to get some and would you believe it like two days later I go to Dollar General and they started stocking more spark and they got major melon back which they haven't had in like almost a year but they also started selling code red that's a first I've never seen them sell code red but they did this time so but you know what I mostly went to I mostly went to Kroger to get thrashed apple Thrashed Owl was the one I definitely wanted because there was a coupon. $277 for a 12 pack. And keep in mind, Thrashed Apple is a Kroger exclusive. And would you would you believe me when I said they had none? They didn't even have the little bottles, you know, like like Bear, Purple Thunder comes in. Which there was a coupon for if you bought two 12 packs of uh, Thrashed Apple, you got a bottle for free. So I couldn't even do that. I couldn't even do that. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't even do it. <laughs> so that kind of sucked. But whatever. I found all these other flavors: Frostbite, Voltage, Spark, Major Melon, Code Red. Uh, you know, I found them. So yeah, um, Purple Thunder. Very good. We like you. I definitely would buy more of it if it came in cans and it wasn't a Circle K exclusive. If I would say this would be a perfect, perfect uh, standard flavor. You know, like how how there's like Code Red and Voltage, like common flavors. This would this would be like the great third common flavor because like what we have like berry, uh, cherry, and then um, great. This would be a great standard flavor. Yeah, I know it would it would be great as a 12 pack. But it's a circle clay exclusive, and you can only buy a bottles or a fountain drink. So that sucks. So my pros are very good. I love the taste of this grape soda. Probably one of the only grape sodas grape sodas I like. Cons. It only comes in bottles, and it's only from Circle K. <laughs> you know, if if that were not the case, I would probably uh, love this drink even more. But I guess it's a very situational drink because you have to go to a specific place to get it. Kind of like Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell a lot, and I love Baja Blast. But, you know, I kind of want to get Baja Blast in stores, which you can but only during the summer. If they made it a permanent flavor that you can get at a store at any time, that would be amazing. I love Baja Blast. It's one of my favorite drinks. I, I think, well, I mean, to be honest, I would say Baja Blast is a favorite drink among many people. It's just one of the best flavors. You, you can't really argue that it's, you know, that it's not. It's, a, it's like one of the best flavors. Baja Blast is delicious, but
but you know you gotta wait till the summer to get it or just go to taco bell which i mean you know i like taco bell but uh, but it's kind of expensive for me because i like to get the taco party pack because i like eating the dorito tacos so you know it's a problem for me because i like to spend a lot of money at taco bell which taco bell's already sort of uh anyways <laughs> Just get one gallon of Baja Blast every time you go. You know what? That remind that rem <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> what 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 was it? What was it? What was it? Uh... Yeah, man. It reminds me of a uh, of of. Wish I could get like an actual just. It reminds me of uh, that that one uh, 4chan post where, you know, someone had like a backpack full of bottles, and you know this this one right here. <laughs> I'll go in the I'll go to Taco Bell and do this. You know I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Absol does this. I mean, because you know he likes to get Baja Blast a lot. But what if what if he doesn't want to go to Taco Bell for a week, huh? I bet he I bet he knows I bet he he's got this plan. Ain't, ain't that right, Absol? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, why would you have to go so many times if you just, you know, you get your fill. You get your fill. <laughs> Operation Soda Steel. <laughs> they, they see Absol walking and they're like, oh, God. Oh, God, there he is. <laughs> the, the thirsty man. The thirsty man. He's going to steal all the soda. <laughs> That's <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if uh, restaurants are like aware of that 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 post. You think people have actually tried that? There goes this week's Baja supply. <laughs> Eighty percent of it goes to this one guy who comes in a lot. <laughs> Don't know who he is, but every time he comes in, we always run out. <laughs> he must be taking a lot of free refills. <laughs> Also, I just realized the cap for the soda is like a, it's like a gray. It's like a silver gray. You don't really see that on, uh, on sodas, huh? Weird. Also, I noticed the picture of uh, the bottle I'm using, you know, down here. It's, there's like the Mountain Dew symbol on it, you know? You know, all those little grooves and stuff on it. This one doesn't have it. This, this bottle doesn't have it. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I mean, it would have been cool. Yeah, I, I know about that video. <laughs> it's great. Genius. And who, who, you know, some people, some people, uh, you know, they try planning out like robberies, like robbing banks and stuff. And you got those whole, you got these whole movies of these, these, these groups of people, you know, planning a bank heist or stealing a jewel or some famous, uh, painting why can't we get one of the soda steel uh plan you know why can't we get a movie on that where you know people you know plan out to go out to taco bell and take all their baja blast <laughs> where's that movie huh i'd go see it me and absol will go see it day one uh it's opening night <laughs> But yeah, if I could rate this soda I, out of ten, I think I rated the last one. I think I last, I think I gave the flaming hot like a six out of out of ten last time. I would give the purple thunder a eight point five out of ten. Very enjoyable. I like it a lot. I would recommend it. Um, you definitely, you, you definitely should go get it if you have a Circle K near you. I would recommend getting the bottle though, because um, I mean, it's just better than the fountain drink, I guess. Or you know, unless you really like fountain drinks, and you know they have. I don't know. Also, apparently, I don't know if it's exclusive to the one I went to, but there's a buy two get one free on the bottles of Purple Thunder. So uh, if that's a thing where yours is at, um, I guess you can go do it. I didn't do it because there's only two bottles, so you know, 
I would have I wouldn't have been able to even get a third because they had none. They only had two. Thanks for subscribing to my friend. You have the heart of a true Texan. Now it is time to be a gamer. Well, I'm so this sub. Oh! Thank you, Absol. Thank you for the sub. Looks like you got the Hank Hill uh, uh, variant. <laughs> now it is time to be a gamer. <laughs> Hope you enjoy those those, uh, those emotes, dude. Uh, oh, speaking of emotes, I did this while I was offline for the past few days, but um, I have now updated all the bit, the bit reward emotes. I've actually gotten rid of the old emote I had for the 1K bits because I think I spent like 10 minutes on that and it just doesn't really fit the theme of my streams. Instead, it's now another Pepe DDD, and uh, the other, the other tiers, the other two tiers, are also Pepe DDDs. So, um, for those of you who have donated a lot of bits in the past, you now have all those emotes to use. So, I hope you like them. But uh, thank you very much, Absol. Glad, glad you, glad you, glad you decided to hit that subaroni, homie. <laughs> But yeah, uh, overall, Purple Thunder really good. Go get it. You know how you know how it be. It's delicious. It is delicious. I I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. Anyways, um, that's all I gotta say. I think I think I think we're done with this segment. Um, as Fartmeister, yeah, I know what you're gonna say. You kind of look like Obama. That's what you always say. Well, guess what? It's nice to see you. <laughs> Glad you're here. <laughs> okay, we can, we can stop the music now. <laughs> 